The unbeaten Dallas Cowboys started on the wrong foot in Cleveland. Walt Garrison fumbled the opening kickoff, and the Browns recovered at the Dallas 48. It didn't take long for Bill Nelson to put something on the scoreboard. He found Paul Warfield, and the wide receiver did the rest. Seven to nothing, Browns. Craig Bainham fumbled Cleveland's next kickoff, and the Browns recovered at the Cowboys' 12. Three plays later, Nelson spotted Gary Collins over the middle from the 10. The game was six minutes old, and Cleveland was ahead 14-0. In the second quarter, Nelson sent Collins long, and Cornell Green was called for interference. The penalty put the ball at the Dallas one-yard line. Ron Johnson cracked over from the one, and Cleveland pulled ahead 21 to nothing. Johnson's short TD marked the first score rushing against the Cowboys this season. The Browns provided Nelson excellent protection against one of the toughest front fours in pro football. Nelson connected again with Warfield from the 21 to Collins from the 7. And to Chip Glass, the final was 42 to 10. Despite the loss, Dallas leads in the NFL's Capital Division, while the Browns lead in the Century Division. They're likely to meet again for the NFL's Eastern Division title. 